The year was 2002. Lacey Peterson, a young expectant mother, vanished from her Modesto, California home. Her disappearance gripped the nation, sparking a media frenzy and a desperate search for answers. Lacey's husband, Scott Peterson, became a central figure in the investigation. The discovery of Lacey and her unborn son, Connor's remains washed ashore in San Francisco Bay, intensified the scrutiny surrounding Scott. The case resonated with people from all walks of life, tapping into universal fears about love, loss, and the darkness beneath seemingly ordinary lives. As the investigation into Lassie's disappearance intensified, Scott Peterson's actions came under increasing scrutiny. His seemingly emotionless demeanor and inconsistent statements to police raised red flags. The discovery of Scott's affair with Amber Frey shattered his carefully constructed facade of a grieving husband. Frey's revelation, coupled with Scott's inconsistent alibi and questionable behavior, painted a damning picture in the court of public opinion. The prosecution seized on these inconsistencies, portraying Scott as a manipulative individual who had murdered his pregnant wife to escape his marriage. The media amplified these narratives, often blurring the lines between speculation and fact. As the trial approached, the nation watched with bated breath, eager to see if the legal system would deliver justice for Lacey and Connor. The trial of Scott Peterson began in June 2004, captivating a nation hungry for answers. The prosecution presented a compelling case, weaving together Scott's infidelity, questionable behavior, and inconsistent statements. The defense argued that the prosecution's case was built on speculation and lacked concrete evidence directly linking Scott to the murders. Despite the defense's efforts, the jury ultimately sided with the prosecution, finding Scott guilty of first-degree murder for Lacey's death and second-degree murder for Connors. The verdict, delivered after weeks of testimony and deliberation, sent shockwaves through the courtroom and across the nation. Scott Peterson, the once unassuming fertilizer salesman, was now a convicted murderer facing the prospect of spending the rest of his life behind bars. Following the guilty verdict, the jury recommended the death penalty for Scott Peterson, a decision upheld by Judge Alfred DeLuke in 2005. However, Scott's legal team immediately began the lengthy process of appeals, raising numerous issues including alleged juror misconduct and prosecutorial errors. They argued that the intense media scrutiny surrounding the case had tainted the jury pool, preventing Scott from receiving a fair trial. The appeals process, while grueling and uncertain, offered a glimmer of hope for Scott and his supporters. Each appeal represented a chance, however slim, to overturn the conviction or at least secure a new trial. The stakes were high, with Scott's life hanging in the balance and the possibility of exoneration a distant but tantalizing prospect. In a stunning turn of events, the California Supreme Court overturned Scott Peterson's death sentence in 2020. The court ruled that the trial judge had erred during jury selection, dismissing potential jurors who opposed the death penalty without proper justification. This error violated Scott's constitutional right to an impartial jury, casting doubt on the fairness of his trial. The court's decision, while upholding Scott's murder convictions, reignited public interest in the case. Scott's legal team celebrated the victory, seeing it as a crucial step towards eventually overturning his convictions altogether. The case, once thought to be closed, was now thrust back into the spotlight with the possibility of a new trial and the potential for exoneration looming large. Following the overturning of his death sentence, Scott Peterson was resentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole in 2021. He was transferred from San Quentin State Prison's death row to a general population facility a significant change in his living conditions. Despite the bleak surroundings, Scott has maintained his innocence, clinging to the hope that his conviction will one day be overturned. He has reportedly been a model prisoner, avoiding trouble and focusing on his legal options. Visits from family and supporters offer a glimmer of normalcy in his otherwise regimented existence. Life in prison has transformed Scott Peterson, leaving him to grapple with the consequences of his actions, whether he acknowledges them or not. 
Throughout the long and arduous legal battle, one figure has remained a constant presence, Lacey Peterson's mother, Sharon Rocha. Her unwavering pursuit of justice for her daughter and grandson has been a driving force behind the case. Rocha's strength and resilience in the face of unimaginable loss have inspired many, turning her into a symbol of a mother's love and dedication. She has been a vocal advocate for victims' rights, using her platform to raise awareness about domestic violence. Rocha has channeled her grief into action, establishing a foundation in Lacey's name to support other families of missing persons. Despite the overturning of Scott's death sentence, Rocha has remained steadfast in her belief that he is guilty. Her unwavering pursuit of justice for Lacey and Connor has been a testament to the enduring power of a mother's love. In a significant development, the Los Angeles Innocence Project took on Scott Peterson's case, injecting new hope into his fight for exoneration. The Innocence Project, renowned for its work in overturning wrongful convictions, brought renewed attention and resources to Scott's claims of innocence. Their involvement signaled the belief that Scott's case warranted a closer look, raising the possibility that crucial evidence had been overlooked or mishandled. The Innocence Project's legal team began a thorough review of the case files, trial transcripts and physical evidence. Their involvement, while not guaranteeing exoneration, offered a glimmer of hope to Scott and his supporters. The Innocence Project's reputation for integrity lent credibility to Scott's claims, prompting a re-examination of the evidence. In a potentially groundbreaking development, a judge ruled in May 2023 that a piece of duct tape found on Lacey Peterson's pants should undergo new DNA testing. This decision stemmed from the argument that advancements in DNA technology could potentially reveal the presence of an unknown person's DNA on the evidence. The DNA testing, while limited to the duct tape, represented a significant opportunity for Scott's defence team. If the testing revealed the presence of an unknown person's DNA, it could potentially lead to a new trial or even exoneration. However, if the testing confirmed the prosecution's original findings, it would likely solidify Scott's conviction. The DNA testing became a race against time, a battle between hope and despair. The Scott Peterson case, even after two decades, continues to grip the public imagination, sparking debates about guilt, innocence, and the role of the media. The case, with its salacious details and compelling characters, became a media sensation, blurring the lines between entertainment and tragedy. The constant media coverage contributed to the formation of strong opinions, often based on speculation rather than concrete evidence. The case highlights the challenges of separating public perception from legal realities. The Scott Peterson case serves as a cautionary tale about the power of the media and the importance of due process. The truth likely lies somewhere in the murky middle, obscured by time, speculation and the limitations of the justice system. As of today, August 27th, 2024, the future of Scott Peterson remains uncertain. The results of the new DNA testing could potentially upend the case, leading to a new trial or even exoneration. However, if the testing confirms the prosecution's original findings, Scott's legal options will become increasingly limited. The case of Scott Peterson serves as a stark reminder that the pursuit of justice is often a long and winding road. Whether Scott Peterson spends the rest of his life behind bars or eventually walks free, the shadow of Lacey and Connor's deaths will forever follow him. The case will likely continue to be debated for years to come, a testament to the enduring power